Okay, guys, our first lesson for our e-learning is 11.5 part one, and we're going to be solving radical equations. We're going to do this into two days. So to solve a radical equation, the first thing that you need to make sure you do is get that radical by itself. So we want to isolate the radical. And then we're going to square both sides. And just as a reminder, squaring something means taking it to the second power. So remember, up to this point, we have learned that if I'm trying to solve and I have x squared, what cancels squaring is square rooting. So the same is true. What cancels square rooting would be squaring on both sides. So whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And the last thing is just remember that your radical cannot have a negative underneath it. So let's look at some examples. So, whoops, go back up. First equation we're going to solve, um, and it does say to check your solution because we do want to make sure that our answer doesn't give us a negative. Okay, so to solve this, again, I'm trying to isolate this radical, get it by itself. So I'm going to move minus 3 to the other side by adding 3. So that is rad x is equal to 4 plus 3 is 7. And then what we just learned, to cancel out a rad, I'm going to square it. And whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other side. So this becomes x equals and then 7 squared is 49. And so if I was going to check that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my answer and I'm going to plug it right back in up here. So that would look like this. So if I was going to check, I would do square root of my x is 49 minus 3 equals 4. And the square root of 49, if you do that on your calculator, is 7. And then 7 minus 3 is 4. So it checks. Okay. Let's look at our second example. So the second example, now this time, notice that there is nothing outside the square root. So if I draw in my wall, I don't have anything outside here on my square root. And so because it's already isolated, I'm going to square both sides. And here's what you need to remember. Remember that squaring just cancels the square root. So everything inside always just comes down as is. So on the left, it just becomes x minus 3 equals 4 squared is 16. And then I'm going to solve that just like I would always solve. Add 3 to both sides. So x is equal to 19. And then I'm just going to do a check over here. So I'm taking my equation and I'm taking my number I got for x and I'm going to plug it in for x. So I'm going to write 19 minus 3, that's under my square root, equals 4. 19 minus 3 is 16 and the square root of 16 is 4. So it checks. Next example. This time I do have something outside my square root, this plus 7. So I need to get my square root isolated. So if I draw in my wall, again, I'm trying to get my square root alone. I'm going to get rid of that plus 7 by subtracting 7 on both sides. So I have square root of x is equal to 5. And then I want to cancel my square root, which I do by squaring both sides. So that becomes x equals 5 squared is 25. And then we're just going to check it. So I'm going to take, plug in what I got for x, which was 25, plus 7 equals 12, and then I'm just going to do that. Square root of 25 is 5, and 5 plus 7 is 12, so it works, and there's my answer. <clears throat> okay, two more examples. This one's a little different, because notice this time, the number that's with my square root on this side of the wall is being squeezed. And so we know squeeze together means multiplication and what cancels multiplication is division. So I'm gonna divide by that two on both sides. So I have square root of x 
is equal to 4. And then to cancel that square root, I'm going to square both sides, and that gives me x equals 16. And once again, we're going to check that, plugging in what we got for our x. And we know the square root of 16 is 4. 2 is squeezed, so they get multiplied together, and it does work. So x is equal to 16. Last one. Okay, so then for this one, my square root is the only thing on the left side of my wall. There's nothing out in front. There's nothing being added or subtracted off over here. So my square root is already isolated. So I am going to get rid of that square root by squaring both sides. And again, squaring the square root just cancels it. So I just bring all of this down as is. So x minus 5 equals squaring a 4 is 16 and then I'm going to solve by adding 5 on both sides. So x is equal to 21 and then I'm going to check and just make sure that it works. So my x is a 21 minus 5 and that's equal to 4. 21 minus 5 is 16 and the square root of 16 is in fact 4. So it checks and there's my answer. Okay, your homework is a worksheet and it has it's that half sheet that I gave you in class and if you lost it you can access it in this module. You have 12 problems to do for homework. Reminder that you are going to upload your homework onto Canvas. So let me just write that just so everybody remembers. You're going to upload your worksheet in Canvas and you're going to do that by taking a picture of it. And We talked about this in class. So just a reminder, upload your worksheet in Canvas by taking a picture. If you have any questions, please let me know. Hope you guys have a great day.